guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Leveling that sweet, sweet alliance character as fast as I can. Trying to hit 120 as fast as possible with all the new leveling changes. Uh, pretty much reduced XP is like the only leveling change that happened. So, uh, let's queue for a dungeon. And I'm sure we'll get in one instantly. If not, we can heal. There we go. So the dungeon itself gives 19,000 XP, which is about an entire bar of experience. So, that's nice. Uh, we'll probably get a level out of this one dungeon. At least a level. If we don't get two levels, I'll be disappointed. Because it's, it's, I don't know, two of the easier dungeons. Which would be Ragefire and Deadmines. Both of them pretty easy to do. I mean, you can solo it most of the time as a tank. I mean, you probably could. I don't know. Probably could solo it, but... You know, dungeon finders, the way you level these days. Awesome. Healer denied. I'm sure there's probably just gonna be an instant queue. No way. No way we have to wait longer. Okay. Wow, that slaps people. 300 XP. Okay. Now we're just waiting on DPS. There we go. So this dungeon, when I did it before, like before all the leveling changes, it still gave incredible experience. I'm not sure if I want to use Blessed Hammer or not. I don't think I do. Under 4,000. Okay, that's a good amount. Okay, so I, I probably just shouldn't even pull those then. And again, I'm just trying to level as fast as possible. Because I need an alliance tune. 8.1 gave some pretty good leveling changes, so I figured why not? Why not level a new new tank tune? I was trying to decide what class to play. What class to level. Uh, I pretty much decided Pally because they can solo the most content, I'd say. Like, just individually, as a prop Pally, you can probably solo a lot, a lot, a lot of content definitely have different trinkets equipped. I should have stamina trinkets equipped. But at this level, I don't think it really matters. We have a... well, we do have it. <laughs> we have a Guardian Drew just sitting in there. I think it's funny that Prop Pally gets all of their abilities. Like, pretty much all of your abilities. Avenger's Shield, Judgment, uh, whatever this is called. Hammer of the Righteous. You get all these abilities at, you know, level 15. And that's pretty much all the abilities you have in the next level 2. I mean, minus a few. Like, Lie of the Protector and Shield of the Righteous. Of course, Shield of the Righteous I get in, like, 5 levels. So, possibly after this dungeon, but... Yeah. Just good old leveling. I should probably be here. Uh, I don't even... I mean, you can loot them, but most of the time you don't even... Like, you don't have to pay attention to looting. Because as long as you loot towards the end, you'll get the rings like nothing. Because there's tons of mobs at the end to grab the rings. Along with the people that are trapped. Those are just throughout the dungeon as well. I forgot how boring leveling is, so... Just, to, you know, at the very beginning of levels. In general, actually, I don't think leveling's been fun for me in a while. I mean, if I haven't leveled, or hadn't leveled almost every tune ever, then it'd be a little bit of a different experience, but... Since I have, it's always gonna be the same. I thought Holy Shield would rock more, too. I might... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should take Blessed Hammer. We might switch it out. God damn. This thing takes forever to kill. Healer's Oom as well. He must be using Healing Search. No, 
nothing. That sucks. Yeah, that would have helped. So I need those feet, and I need... I don't need the chest. Just need those boots, then. <laughs> the one dungeon I'm just not looking forward to is Wailing Caverns. Just because it's an... I, I think it's incredibly slow. Well, not as much with the rework. I always forget that there was the remapper, you know, different Wailing Cabin zones since... I think it was last expansion. I don't know, I could be wrong, but... It's not as bad since the rework, but it's still pretty long for a dungeon. With pretty little reward, other than, like, the three quests in there, I'd say. Other than that, it's just like a normal dungeon. I think, especially with the random dungeon finder, 19,000 XP is like, that's, that's like an entire level of XP. I'm not sure how efficient dungeons will be leveling, like, specific queue. Because most of the time at around, like, level 40, all specific queue dungeons are all specific queue for dungeons that I haven't completed the quest for yet, because dungeon quests, along with that dungeon completion XP, is uh, a lot. It's a lot of XP. So most of the time, when I have a few dungeons done, a few dungeons not done, I know which dungeons I have and haven't done. All specific queue for dungeons that I know I have the quest for. But with the random dungeon finder bonus XP, it might be a little bit... Might be a little bit less than usual when it comes to the XP reward. I don't see an XP reward from this, but I'm sure I'll get one anyway. Just for completing the dungeon, and then I'll get the random dungeon finder bonus on top of that. As long as we don't die, it's all that really matters. And again, I, I think my playtime's like an hour on this guy so far, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm just gonna see how fast I can get from 1 to 120, as obviously, as I've probably said like 10,000 times already. But. Two more, I need to rescue a few more rangers. And then the battleground, not battleground. The dungeon will be over. I'm so used to just spamming battlegrounds, so. Like the first thing that pops into my mind is battlegrounds. I think Blessed Hammer might be better. Four second recharge, though. I don't think it has stacks either. Okay, three charges. Never mind. Maybe. I don't get Grand Crusader for a while, though. And that's 25. 25 is not that bad. But that procs so much with Hammer of the Righteous that I might use it. The Blessed Hammer, sorry. I don't think Holy Shield's that great. Especially at lower levels, I don't think it's that great. It is nice, the extra block chance, but I don't think my block chance is generally high in general. I mean, 25. I think it adds another 15, so it does make us a little bit more tanky. But I, I seriously, sincerely don't think the damage is for it. Uh, I'll look at my overall damage after this. Uh, I'm so close to saying Battleground every time. After this dungeon, I'll look up the um, damage done by Holy Shield. I also need to save a few more. I think there's like three guys in cages, though, towards the back of the dungeon, so probably shouldn't be rushing that. have nothing else to press other than Consecration. How much damage is this guy's pit for? Decent amount. I think all of it, actually. I feel like Demonology would be one of those leveling specs that's actually pretty fun to play now. At least the lower levels. When it comes to just sustainability, like Warlock leveling, I, I think Affliction's definitely hands down the best, just because Drain Life and Siphon Life and all the kind of sustain they have without having to rely on food or whatever. Not that you even use food anymore. I like how my Avenger Shield bounced all the way to these guys. Okay. Back. 
guy. Awesome. The chest piece that I don't need. wonder if that chest piece is better. Okay, it's about the same. That's mine. But it's nice to see that heirlooms just aren't ridiculously stronger than every other item in the game, though. Let's throw on a toy, too. Oh, I can't use that. The doctor is in. Surprised I haven't gotten a level yet. Not really. Well, like all the dungeon, not all the XP from this comes from quests and dungeon completion. Congrats, guy. You're, you're level 26 now. It's weird seeing lower or higher levels in RFC. I don't know. 20, what? 25, 18, 23, 26. Very high level. And there's the three other rangers that we need to rescue. Here's the last boss. Dungeon took like 10 minutes. Not too bad. I wish I knew the played time of uh, all my other tunes. Do you get BCO Wrath at a low level now? What the fuck? Really? That's weird. This guy's voice, voice acting, I don't even know. Voice lines? The voice lines for this are the same as the Hellfire Orcs. I don't know. Just something I noticed. Because I haven't heard that noise in so long. Probably heard a lot more when I get to Alvin, though. I love how auto attacks and judgments are just the hardest hitting ability. Avenger's shield is definitely up there. Your holy shield, sorry. There's a level 27,000 experience for that. I'm pretty sure that's a whole level. That was on top. Like, I got 9,000 for the dungeon. And then I got 19,000 for the dungeon. Random dungeon completion thing. I owe you all an ale. Thanks. Alright. Equip that belt. Open the sack. Okay, we get gloves now. There we go. Now we leave. Leave instance group. Goodbye, friends. Let's finish these quests. We could also... God, that's so much XP, dude. It doesn't go down either. So I think the struggle with dungeons, at least now, is the fact that dungeon completion... For random dungeons, 21,000 XP. That is an entire level. Yeah. 10,000 less than an entire level. I, I think when it comes down to it, dungeon completion XP is really worth it. I think I'll probably use tank, DPS. If I get repeat dungeons, I'll just leave. And then just hope I don't get repeat dungeon again. I could also specific queue. I think once I get to the dungeons that have kind of a lengthy, you know, run time, or those dungeons that take a while just to run through, such as Dire Maul or uh, Mardon, those kind of ones that just don't really provide great XP, have low mob density, don't have any, uh, you know, dungeon quests or anything like that. Um, if I get those through random or specific, even like if I get those, it, it's just fucked in generally. And then the thing I don't like with the changes to eight point one is uh seven like going and making every dungeon scalable to sixty like I see where they I see why they did this you know they want people in the level range of fifteen to sixty to be able to queue for every dungeon in the you know classic kind of contenty area um the thing is with all the dungeons that you do unlock even while you're leveling I I mean I just unlocked two by the time I'm level thirty I'll probably have like ten dungeons that I could possibly get through a random dungeon thing um as the dungeons add up you have less and less of a chance to get a dungeon that constantly gives you a dungeon quest like you, your chance of getting a repeatable dungeon is just increased and a shitty dungeon is increased because within your level range i mean you can specific queue all the way to level 60 which is nice but i don't think that being level 60 and getting in the possibility of getting dead mines over and over and over and over again or like all these lower level dungeons over and over and over again because those are the people that have I don't want to say that 
the population of lower levels is definitely dense between like 15 and 30, but if someone's gonna quit, wow, like from starting, they're definitely gonna quit at levels, you know, 15 to 45 instead of like 60 or you know, the higher levels. Point is, I don't like the new changes. Kind of just bullshit talk out of my ass, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how many repeats we get through uh, just queuing. We're gonna go turn in this quest. Maybe queue one more dungeon? Yeah. Turn in the quest. I need, what, three more of these guns? Okay. Um, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you guys like the video, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, notification, comments. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.